I can't get over how insane things are here at camp. I honestly didn't see anything even exciting happening while I was here. Maybe I'd meet a girl? Well, I've done that and that much more. I mean, I have the possibility to make a lot of money, but now there's, like, spirits? How more insane can this get? I'm glad you two decided to come by. It does get so lonely out here. Mothy, I I'm just glad we didn't wake you up. Alex told me to come at this time. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just happy you're not asleep. Oh, no worries. I hardly sleep. My mind is always keeping me up. I, I hate to hear that. Um, so, like, what all do you know about the Bright One exactly? Well, the Bright One has been a legend in these parts since the mid-19th century. Well, so he's, he's an old legend, I get that, but, like, why is he haunting me, and why me specifically? Haha, -ha, the Bright One isn't haunting you. If anything, I think he likes you. Likes me? Wait, what? Why does he like me? That doesn't even... Wait, what? How? Wait, why? Alex told me about your encounter with the bear. The Bright One didn't save us from that bear, though. Counselor Rick did. He had no part. I never even saw the Bright One. What woke him up again? I think she said he was woken up by lightning? Uh... Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, he did say that. And there wasn't really even a cloud in the sky. It was kind of odd. That wasn't lightning, the counselor saw. That was the bright one. If it wasn't for him, you'd be dead. Wait, so he saved me from the bear. D wait, also, Alex also never got me a boat, right? Could that have been him as well? Most likely, yes. If you could reach into the chest behind, uh, there should be a book labeled The Legend of Clay County. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, Mothy, thank you. All right, let's see. Um, chest, all right, here we go. Um, uh, book, recipe book. The Legend of Clay County. Okay. Many years ago in a small county of Clay, Alabama, gold was struck and this made many mad in these parts and surrounding with the fever of richness. Men left their family and friends for months on end to travel to this rural part of Alabama for its newfound riches. Yet the gold has been here long before any white settlers walked this land. Huh. The now esteemed Camp Nugget that now stands in the place of a once bustling golden utopia, times are a lot quieter and calmer since the rush of the early 19th century. Now the area only sees the youth of camp and the local hobbyist who pans for gold. The locals talk of a tale, however, a tale of good and evil. Here is where the legend of Clay County begins. Okay, early in the settling of this area, two men moved here from different parts and began to work night and day to bring in wealth and fortune for their families. The two men were named Lewis Burton and Arthur Roy. Soon the two became friends during all the turmoil and greed and decided to team up in search of the area's shiny rocks and the two made a fine team. On a normal day, just like any other, Lewis and Arthur made a path to a nearby creek where they panned at. Lewis had on his push through the woods been swallowed by a sinkhole. Arthur reacted quite quickly to the falling of Lewis when he didn't hear a thud, but a splash. What Arthur saw was Lewis laying face down in an underground limestone pond. Arthur quickly dove in to save Lewis, but when he reached Lewis and dragged him to the cave's dry land, the two men were met with multiple dead natives guarding a hill of gold. Whoa. The two now riddled with screams of joy with their now treasure quickly grabbed their pocketfuls to show their loved ones, but Arthur had no intentions of sharing with another. The next day, the two returned to the sinkhole to extract more gold, if not all of it. The wife and kids awaited the treasure their father showed them the night before, but neither man would return home that night. What Lewis did not know was Arthur had brought a bundle of dynamite for the murdering of his once good friend. Oh. While Lewis was in the hole, Arthur threw a short fuse dynamite at Lewis, killing him instantly. Dang. 
Arthur, now the sole owner of all the gold, he foolishly jumped into the cavern, unaware that his dynamite had weakened the cave walls and quickly collapsed on top of the remains of Lewis and now buried Arthur alive with his gold. The legend of these two men roam these parts of Royal Alabama Hills. Lewis Burton as the bright one and Arthur Roy as the darkness. Mothy, this is amazing. Thank you very much. Did you learn anything? It's been ages since I've looked through that book. Yeah, no, I learned their names and everything. That's awesome. Uh, but like, where did you get the book? Well, I used to be the camp librarian many years back. Sadly, I was fired after talking about the legend with a camper. I, I don't understand that. Like, wh what exactly is the big deal? Why can't anyone talk about it? So you may see a ghost. Who cares? It's a legend. It's worse than that. The bright one isn't the problem. It's darkness. The darkness. I hate that. I thought maybe he was just the folklore and maybe no one had actually seen him, but there's now two ghosts. <laughs> oh, great. Ah, uh, yeah. It's getting late. You two should get back to camp. We'll talk again tomorrow if you want. No, I, I would really like that. Good night, ma'am. And thanks again, Mothy. All right, Alex. We should probably get back to camp before sunrise. Thanks again. Uh, I'm going to have to share your boat, though, so... I hope there's room. Hey, Alex. Thanks for that ride. I really do appreciate all this. Josh, it's no problem at all. I'm glad we're getting to hang out so much. This is the most fun I've had in months. <laughs> I, I, I can't disagree with you, but... You're telling me you're not scared? As long as I'm with you, I've never felt safer. Well... That's a very kind of you to say, Alex. I, I, I feel the same way. Well, come on. Let's get back to our tents. I'll see you in the morning. Okay, Alex. Oh, man, that book was insane. I can't believe. Whoa, what's happened? My flashlight's not even working. What's going on? Ah, stupid. F ah, stupid flashlight. Oh, there it is. Oh, the heck? Oh, no, what? No, no, stop. Oh, don't come any closer. Please. Who are you? Oh, oh no! I know who you are. You're the you're the bright one. Oh, hello, Joshua. You must be more careful. Thank you, bright one. I thought me and Alex were done for. Oh, I, I, how can I ever repay you? You must travel in daylight. I can only protect you that way. Why are you protecting me in the first place? Like why me? And who were those people? Because you are of me. I am of you. What what do you mean? You are the fifth son of my blood, and the darkness will stop at nothing to have you killed. But you are safe at camp. Nothing can harm you there. So, you're like my grandfather? In a sense, but with a bit more grace. Well, how did you die? And who is the darkness? We will meet again. I'm sure of it. We can continue this conversation then. Till then... Return to safe grounds and rest. But wait! Wait! Grandfather! No, wait! 